In this video, we will briefly cover how marketing mix modeling works. Instead of a deep technical explanation of the science behind marketing mix modeling, we will focus on a simple intuitive example, which illustrates the basic logic behind all marketing mix models. Let's assume this chart shows the sales of your company over time. The y-axis is sales. The x-axis is time. The data could be for example showing your sales on a daily granularity. When looking at the sales chart, we notice two peaks. The first one is a bit smaller than the second one. We're interested in understanding whether those peaks were driven by marketing or something else. At this point, marketing mix modeling comes into the picture. It will help us decompose sales into its drivers. The first step in marketing mix modeling is to collect data on marketing activities. In this simple example, we are only investing in Facebook and Google. On the top chart, we have our activity level in display ads in Facebook. On the bottom chart, we have activity level in display ads in Google's display network. When we give this data to the marketing mix model, it notices two things. Firstly, there's a peak in sales at the same time when we have conducted advertising in Facebook. It also notices that the second peak in sales happens at the same time when we have activated Google advertising simultaneously with Facebook advertising, and it's a higher peak than the first one. Using the provided information, marketing mix models are able to estimate which part of the company's sales was driven by Google advertising, and which part of the company's sales was driven by Facebook advertising. The part of sales, which is not explained by marketing, is called the base sales base sales is the part of sales that the company can expect without conducting marketing activities. When we know how much marketing has been driving the sales of the company, we can calculate the ROI of marketing. For example, if we want to understand how many dollars of sales each dollar invested in marketing is bringing back, we can divide the marketing-driven sales with marketing investments. This is called the sales ROI of marketing. The ROI of the total marketing budget is useful in evaluating whether the company is getting sufficient return for its marketing investments in general. The ROI can also be calculated separately for each individual medium, which enables comparing the effectiveness of different media against each other. In reality, marketing mix models are much more complex than what was illustrated in this video. As one example, one needs to take into account several non-marketing effects, such as seasonality, to estimate correct level of base sales. However, we hope the simplified example illustrated in this video serves as a starting point in your journey to understand how marketing mix modeling works. For more information, please visit cell40.com. Thank you.